All right, so we have a situation here in Google Sheets that's probably pretty familiar to you, especially if you found this video because you were searching for how to compare sheets, right? So this one at the top, this is when we did a physical inventory of our uh, warehouse, right? You walked back there, you counted everything. So this one's right. However, in your business, you have two other inventory reports. So that's what we have here. Let's say this one's from your accounting system in the lower left. And then we threw in a third one. This one we're saying is from your point of sale system. They're mostly right, but you know there's a couple of mistakes in them. We're going to go over two ways to compare these sheets and look at what the differences are. All right, so the first method is going to be kind of a manual way to do it. And by manual, I just mean that we're not going to use an add-on. All right, so we'll go to kind of the main sheet. So we're deeming physical inventory to be the main sheet, meaning this, this is what we're considering to be right. We walked back into the warehouse, we counted the cases and double checked it. So we need to make, we need to look at the differences in the other two reports when compared to this one. So the uh, manual way to do it is to bring these two tables into this main sheet and just look at them in there. So when you're trying to bring uh, one file in Google Sheets into another one, you can use something called import range. I'll link to a video about more information on import range. Um, but what you need to do for it is uh, type out the name of the function and then it needs the spreadsheet URL. So let's use, let's do the POS inventory this time and uh, the spreadsheet URL. So you can get the entire address there if you want to grab it, but you really only need this random string of characters in the middle. Um, that that's what really points to the unique file. So we'll go up to import range. We will paste in that string of characters, close it off with a quote. So quotes before and after. And then it wants the range string. So in this case, we want, uh, you have to type out the name of the sheet and then an explanation point, just because that's the way you reference another worksheet. And then we're going to say A1 through A17. That should do it, we'll see. Okay, so the import range, the next thing that it needs is that you need to give it permission to access the other file. So we will say allow access. And I'm seeing a mistake I made, so it partially brought it in, but I need to update this range to go all the way through C. So give me one second. All right, a way to compare these would be, um, let's just add in a comparison column and we could say uh, these cases minus, yeah, sorry, minus this number of cases, right? Drag that down and it won't take you very long to find out that your point of sale system is doubling all of the inventory that's coming in. So your case counts are way off. So you're gonna have to back up in this case and look at what's going on with your point of sale inventory. If you were to pull the other one in, it would be a very similar method, right? But you can just change the URL. So we'll grab this string. And I've already done this one, so it won't ask me to allow access. It should just bring it in. And this one's a lot more similar. So you could do something like if A2 is equal to E2, say good, otherwise say bad. Drag this down. This is just another way to do it. And then you look at the ones that are bad. But you can see when you're doing this, once you have a one that's missing, then it makes all the rest of them look bad, but really you have to shift things down to compensate for that. It gets a little bit tricky, it can be done, no problem, but a way to do it faster and more accurate, in my opinion, I think you'll agree with me after we do this, is to use an add-on from AbleBits called Compare Sheets. 
So I'm going to load that up right now. Let me first delete this import range. I'll delete this column. And what we want to do again, we want to take physical inventory and look at the differences between that and book and that in the POS inventory. So we can do that all from here. So we'll go to compare sheets. So when you go to extensions and come down, compare sheets won't be on there. But if you can use the link in the description to get it, then you'll get a discount if you decide that you like it after you do the trial and it will help to support my channel. So in order to get compare sheets, please use the link in the description of this video. But I've already installed this, so let me show you how it goes. Compare sheets. And in this case, we want to compare sheets cell by cell. It will load up this interface. Not a lot going on here. That's good. But we want to compare physical inventory, and then we need to grab the other files. So we'll say... book inventory and we'll say POS inventory click add you'll see those here you need to verify that you want to look at sheet one if you extend this that those are the only sheets in here so it can look at another sheet inside the file if you want to uh, we'll click next the main sheet is physical inventory sheet one so that was right the way it was and you have two options here and um, they're very different in the results. First, I'll do show the difference on the sheets. And that's kind of self-explanatory. What it's going to do is actually write the differences inside the spreadsheets, right, right on them. So we'll click compare. Let's get ready to do that. We'll give it a minute. You can see it happening in the background. And it gives you a summary. We'll click close. And now it tells you right on the sheets what's going on, right? So it tells you that these rows are missing from POS, these are missing from book, and it does the other direction. When you go to book, it says this value is different than physical inventory, etc. So I think really easy to use. The other option to compare it by cells is I think probably more useful if you have a very large report. I made this small just so it's easy to see. But if you want to um, compare a large one, let's walk through getting these in here again. And here, instead of selecting show differences on the sheets, we're gonna go down and create a comparison report. We'll uncheck the include equal rows option. Run this and it's going to create a new file in your Google Drive in the same folder I have all my files in the same folder, but it does put it in the same folder as the other files. So when this is done, we're going to open it up and take a look at it. It's telling you what it found. Go over to compare sheets. Yeah, I think I need, oh, there it is. Open up the comparison report and it tells you what, what it found. Uh, this is a little bit, I think, more in depth looking than having it just right on the, face of the spreadsheets, but it gives you all the details. You can expand it and it categorizes things as uniques or missing or different. All right, one, uh, it can also find duplicates. We're going to skip over that part because that's pretty intuitive and easy to follow. And we're going to do the third option, which is compare columns. All right, so I have behind me, let, let me click out of this for a second. A bank reconciliation. So if you're young and you thought that bank reconciliations were a thing of the past, at least small companies, probably medium sized companies too, still write hundreds of thousands or millions of checks all the time. And you have to do a bank reconciliation. So uh, what we want to do, so these are the checks that were written from our accounting system. They just go in order, but these are the checks that cleared the bank. So there's a timing difference between the two. And you can find that by using this tool. So we'll highlight those four columns. We'll go back to extensions. So you always have to go here to find this add-on. And we're going to do compare columns. It's gonna come up here. I already selected the range, so it knows that. I'll say it has my table, doesn't have headers, just because I didn't select row two. I'll say the main column is column A, and the compared column is column C. That's where the check numbers are. 
All right, so first we want to find duplicate values. If you click compare, it's going to highlight the values that are same on both sheets, but that's going to be most of the checks, right? Because they don't take that long to get there in the mail. So blue means that they're the same. So let's highlight these again. And now we want to look at differences. So go back to the extensions, compare sheets, compare columns. We're going to change the fill color to yellow. We'll run this. And it's identified the unique values. All right, so your bank reconciliation at this point is mostly done. All right, so if you like this tool and you use the link in the description, it will get you a discounted rate and it will help support my channel. Thanks a lot.